It's a cabal. Mm. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, mm. and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Mm. That boy Cat Williams has shut the internet down with this uh interview we had up on Sun and Sharp, bro. <laughs> I ain't even peeped it. I can tell by the damn feed on Instagram, bro. It's just Cat Williams, Cat Williams, Cat Williams calling everybody out. So who all I seen? Uh Steve Harvey, Sid, Entertainer, Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, uh Tiffany Haddish, um, Michael Blackson. And I mean, I've seen their responses for the most part. It's uh, <laughs> interesting. But, but, but before we dive into you know any of that, let's 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 see what was said first. Appreciate Shannon Sharp giving us these clips because I ain't got two and a, two hours and forty five minutes to to spell to uh, tap in, man. But it looked like the whole interview was well worth it from what the comments, a lot of these. Posts are saying, man. So um, we diving on in uh, a, a chunk of it now. Let's do it. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams joke? Yeah. He said it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018. You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same he Steve been, that uh, went to go watch. He must have been uh, 98, 99, because Kings of Comedy came out in 2000. You came to see me at the Comedy Store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to the level that it was. The same Steve that went to go watch Mark Curry do his whole sitcom and then stole everything Mark Curry had. Now Steve got a sitcom where he the principal and he wear a suit and he... And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. <laughs> and it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. So I seen the man unit part on Instagram and seen all the comments about it and shit, man. But I thought that was like known that he had a whole hair piece on that show. Line was crispy as fuck, man. But the whole uh, um, Mr. Cooper shit. I forgot the name of the damn show. Is it is it Mr. Cooper? But Mr. Cooper and the Steve Harvey show, bro. Them was got similar as fuck, wasn't it? Shots fired, bro. <laughs> Shots fucking fired, dog. Man, think he got the best lineup in the business, and it's a man unit. Then you ask it, why you not a movie star? I didn't want to be a movie star. This the same Negro that hated on Bernie with this same thing. I didn't want to be a movie star. No, you couldn't be a movie star. There are 30,000 new scripts in Hollywood every year. Not one of them asks for a country bumpkin black dude that can't talk good over KB and look like Mr. Potato Head. There ain't none. You would have to have range. I played a lot of characters, 60 movie roles. I'm not playing Cat Williams in there. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink it. I mean, we ain't even got I'm not feeling he said, I don't know, Cat. We might. Hey, Shannon didn't know what he stepped into with this shit, bro. Woo! Cat, man, that boy been solid as hell, dog. He got that. He got 2024 started off with a bang rush. I don't know. I don't know, Cat. We might not let you drink it. Where you, you? I mean, we ain't even got. I'm not fueled by alcohol. I've had a sip less than you. <laughs> the truth don't need motivation. I'm just saying I can't. Bro, let this these got eight point. or oh, it's four thirty in the evening on January fourth, dog. This bit came out yesterday. They got eight point something million views already, bro. Like cat shut the fucking world internet down with this bitch, dog. Shit, like came out of no fucking word. Shannon didn't know what the fuck he was getting himself into with this shit. <laughs> he did not know what he got himself into with this shit. 
boy. The truth don't need motivation. Bars. I'm just saying I can't let these dudes lie. Cedric sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You <laughs> didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. Why I'm can't, not a movie can't, star. Can't, can't, what? It's a situation. He never wrote anything. Remember, when Cedric the Entertainer starts, he's supposed to be singing, dancing, and telling Boy, jokes. That's why he's called the Entertainer. Right. We found out he can't sing, can't dance, and doesn't he's write doing jokes. Album. He did four comedy specials. They're so bad, Shannon. They're not available on Netflix or Tubi. Can I say that again for the audience? They're so bad that they're not available on Netflix, Netflix or, or Tubi. Tubi. You don't think Sam's a good, a, a good comedian? The world doesn't think that, sir. I have 12 comedy specials. He has four specials that are not available on Netflix or Tubi. It seems to me, Kat, that you had a lot to get off your chest. Facts. No, no. You wanted to set the record straight. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite history. Ooh. I don't say any. Ooh, Ooh bruh, that is a fucking Say it again, bro. Say this shit again. No, no. You wanted to say the record straight. Winners are not allowed to allow losers to rewrite. Winners are not allowed to let losers rewrite history. Ah, bro, that was fire. Bro. Winners are not Quotable, allowed bro. to allow losers to rewrite history. Mm. I don't say any of these things if my name is not breached by these people on your platform. They, if you give them a liar a like, platform, to Kat been he been holding on to this bit, bro, because these interviews have take taken place months ago. So I wonder when Shannon even invited Cat to the show, or did Cat reach out to Shannon, or whatever, whatever the case may be, bro. And I hadn't watched, I hadn't peeped the said, I hadn't peeped the Ricky Smiley, I hadn't peeped the Steve. I don't think I peeped a little bit of Steve Harvey uh, uh, interview or, or whatnot, man. But you know, you know who did peep all that shit? Cat, and he been holding on to this, <laughs> holding on to this shit for for months. A lie. Then I, I'm not being messy by saying, hold on, that never happened. It's untrue, and there are hundreds of witnesses for each thing I'm saying. So let me ask you this. What is your relationship with Steve Harvey, Ricky Smiley, and Cedric the Entertainer as you sit here currently? They, for 30 years, they're a group. These aren't three random guys. The way that Ricky Smiley kept appearing at all of my auditions is because of Steven said he would tell anybody that, listen, they got a gang on that side. They know what it is. They know who the gang is. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of him. Like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Uh, cats on drugs. Where are the stories? Why is there no story of anybody who ever sold a drug to me, did a drug with me, was around me when I was inebriated? I got five daughters. I got five sons. Why would we tell these ridiculous stories? Because it's com competition. You you feel like, well, why comedy, comedy guys can't just get along? Yes. Why, why, why didn't you get along with the other teams you were competing against? If you're a Denver Bronco, why you don't get along with the Cowboys? Something wrong with you but i don't disagree i don't no, dislike no, all the no. cowboys cat damn you like this no like, that's okay not, what committee do you did like? did you play against the team yes i've taken 46 comedians with me on the road 46 okay i'm not the comedian you can give that to i only put on comedians that are funnier than me Anybody that ever told you differently was a fat Faison liar. <laughs> There's no Faison too. I forgot. I see that motherfucker on the feed too, bro. And you know what's so dope about this shit? The irony because it's literally shit that nobody gives a fuck about. But it's so crazy what the fuck he's saying. It makes you give a fuck about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then making the people he's got the fucking sights on relevant in the process, bro. It's fire. Nobody yeah, like you, me in the business. Faison because... just called straight. Faison said that getting a Netflix special is easy. Yeah, I, I got have smoke 12 for you specials. Too, Guess how many Faison got? Zero. <laughs>
So Why is he allowed to have conversations about real stand up people? We do not let people who are on the juice discuss real athletes. Mm. That's all. He dropped As a bars, journalist. Bro. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I don't ha harbor any resentment to any of these entities because I can't be jealous. I've never seen them have anything that I ever wanted. If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever <laughs> talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. How they all end up with that. Hold on, who, who the, I'm sure somebody has made a post about this. Who's the seven weird face, light skinned wives? I'm about to type that in the Google right now. Seven, seven light skinned weird face wives. Cedric Entertainer Wife. It came up first. What y'all think? <laughs> what y'all think? That's one. Bruh, this shit going so viral that the, that the, like, I typed in Rick and Ricky Smiley came up first. That motherfucker ain't popping. I know his wife, Portia. She cool, man. Ain't nothing wrong with Portia. She straight. That's Ricky Smiley's wife. So that must not be one of the weird face ones because her face don't look that weird to me. Um, I know Steve Harvey wife be on some shit. Be been cheating on him and everything. <laughs> That's Steve Harvey wife. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I guess that's 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 all I'll do for right now, man. But y'all are welcome to go look up the other foe if you would like. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was gonna expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching <laughs> hell in 2024. Deviant, it's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, and, and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. I didn't have no one of these. Amen, amen. Jeez. You didn't know what he stepped into, bro. You stepped into some I, shit with this one, boy. I'm getting on there. Right. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go, Libby. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was Because, that. because in truth. 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. <clears throat> so if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You will tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that, I value that, I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know and they all know it. They all know it. Why, because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. And, and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDB. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. Bruh, nah, he had, he had, he had bullets in the clip, bruh. Cause I just, I just seen what he referring to when I was driving to the gym today. Where the fuck is it? Did I save it? That's a direct shot at Kevin. You keep pointing at Hollywood. Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? You had the shot. Cat was in that position at one you point. You were the guy. Yeah. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You fucked off promo shoots. You fucked off your promo fucking uh, trips that they had set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? He chose drugs. Oh, okay. Take risk. <laughs> Bravo, young sir. Bra and I'd imagine that's going to be a segue into uh, giving Kevin that smoke now, too. Ow. 
That's why I'm saying, that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike. Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. I designed the hair for Money Mike. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. I told him to go get the Prowler. I then told him to paint it purple. I told him don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to play. Like, I... I did far too much work for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Why didn't Cube set the record straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those How lies. He and but I don't know what the Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> Normally, when people are giving you information, I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and they're giving information no one else knows or has ever heard. So I'm taking them at face value. These are like, this is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he, Mark Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell the stories. This, my, thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget <laughs> that. You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. Hey, that, uh, hey, uh, did a beautiful special he about the comedy it, store in Fat he Tuesday it, where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Right, here we go. Here we go. Like, life. what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. That uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store in Fat Tuesday where he said that Steve and Cedric and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made... All lies. Steven Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or, or since after. that person. What do you think a plant is? Mm. Maybe people don't understand mm. the definitions of these words. Mm. So you see, that resonates with me, bro. That resonates with me, man. I'm not going to say he not funny, bro, but I've never understood the appeal of the, uh, for Kevin Hart. Like, he ain't nothing special because it's literally been a face of comedy for, I don't know, past decade shit longer than that it's like that's the one that the torch was passed to you know what i mean and I've, I've had fucking nasty debates about this shit with people who find kevin hart funny i'm like how i mean he funny he cool but they be mentioning his name with the greats like priors and the eddie murphy's and the dave chappelle's and the cat, cat williams and shit like he ain't he ain't swinging with them but it's like it makes sense bruh it, that makes sense that he he just the money was put behind him and they they, they fucking just dropped this motherfucking face on the world and you know people as pawns and they're gonna flock to wherever the fuck people dangle in front of them that shit make that that's what makes sense to me because the motherfucker is not he ain't funny I said I, I, I want I went to I ain't gonna say he ain't funny he cool he cool. He got. He got. He got. His little. He making little voices and shit. I ain't trying to hate, bro. But like, I just it, it rubbed me the wrong way when they were trying to got them compare, compare this motherfucker to like an Eddie. <clears throat> what? You talking about Norbit, Nutty Professor, Beverly Hills Cop, Dolomite? You know what I mean? Doctor Doolittle. You, you, you talk to Kevin Hart? Like what he do is cool, bro. Plant to me. <laughs> Plant to me, and there's a lot of those out. There's a lot of those going around, dog. A lot of those going around. Sound like Kevin could have. Sound like Cat could have been. Uh, he should have been. He should have been the fucking face of comedy. But you see why? Cause it ain't, it ain't like this is the first time Cat and been airing out dirty laundry and shit. He already he said to himself about Michael Jackson and who else did he say? Somebody else. I don't know what he said about MJ. You know what I'm saying? But he 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 has never been shy. 
about telling the truth. And you can't tell the truth in the Hollywood. You get blackballed, dog. Um, yeah. This is my two cents. It's about Kevin specifically. Let me know what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Y'all think Kevin is a plant? Y'all even find him funny? I'm sure y'all do. Uh, I'm sure y'all do. But anyway, let's continue. Yes. Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. Mm. That includes blessings for his people. Mm. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Tough. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. That's hard. I've always wondered that about Gary Owens myself too, bro. I've seen a lot of fools blow up from the deaf comedy scene. Gary Owens has been doing this shit for the longest. The longest, bruh. And he a white boy. I would expect that motherfucker to just got them. At least do better than everybody else is doing. And he low-key, I ain't going to say he in the same spot, but he, I'm sure he himself would say he is not where he, he thought he would be. You know, two decades later, bro. And that motherfucker is funny. It's a cabal. Mm. It's a it's a consortium. They they rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, mm. boy. And see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, he cooking. He cooking. Let us get on the line, bro. <laughs> and let's see what's what. You can have all the resources back in you. It don't matter, dog. Get on this stage. Grab that mic. Go head to head, bro. I will take your hair off. Bro, that was nasty, dog. Nasty, bro. But let us get on the line, Ooh, boy. He about to sell like his goddamn. If it ain't sold out already, his tour about to sell out like a motherfucker, bro. And this is just so much more material for his ass too. Doing this shit, dog. Nah, this is this is cool. Boy, and see if that factors in. Mm. I, I guarantee you, it won't. Wow. At all. Talk because to Shannon shit. Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And I he like always that. was. I like that doesn't that. change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in front of all <laughs> my people at my agency. What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. <laughs> Woo. Uh -huh. So you wonder what they did to get that? <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Hey. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. Cause yeah, why it takes so long to get on the fucking fire ass platform to talk this shit like this, man? I feel like I've been, I feel like we've been missing out. I seen him go crazy on a couple of little radio shows and shit like this, bro. But this fool needs to be on podcasts and interviews from here on out. Just give him the mic and let him talk, bro. This shit is fucking gold. Better and jealous, but in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. 
They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went. <laughs> in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. What? <laughs> you called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Mm. Have you have ever been on truth. Have mm. you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so you, no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't write. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Like, you got to be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. I'm not going to have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, <clears throat> but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many w comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay, let's get to your upbringing. We're going to circle back and we'll get some... Uh -huh. I want to protect him real quick because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019. But did you mean 1999? Yeah. Because it came out in 2000. So I just want to make yeah. it. No, 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 no. So what I meant to say was, remember, he said I couldn't do stand up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I thought you were talking about Cedric. Joke stealer from Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay, so you so, have said that okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. You okay, no, 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 no. What comes out in 2000? The, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My, I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying, yeah. So, so if I, right? yeah. So if I yeah. said the dates oh, wrong, just, yeah. So yes. you, let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said, yeah. I had Cedric on here, and I asked him about the joke stealing, and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point, you say. Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, mm -hmm. and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. 
I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? Uh. And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric. Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been a oh, lot. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here goes here goes said joke. Right behind y'all in space shuttles with Cadillac grills. Just, look at just rolling one headlight out. Tags be all wrong. All base. <laughs> y'all know we'll drive a space shuttle too. That's right up our damn alley. A space shuttle is long. They ain't scared of no black folk. We'll drive a space shuttle. We grew up driving long for cars. We'll drive a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce and a quarter. We, 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 we get us a cigarette. We get us, we be in a space shuttle like it's a 72 deuce. We get us There you go, cats. You should have had your car radio up so loud that you couldn't hear the damn thing when it cut off. It looked like this. You flossing in a six shift converter. Awfully similar to me, man. I remember the um, Kings of Comedy joke from Sid, man. And uh, I said all, the only switch up was the spaceship shit because Cat was actually talking about a vehicle. You know what I mean? Look awfully similar to me. Mind, and and there are these alliances in comedy, and if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But we don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So help, help me, me God. God. Now I'm reading. Cat Williams won Cedric the Entertainers and Heiser Bush Best L L Best Los Angeles Comic Award. Did you win that award, one Cat Williams? It's a simple yes or no. It's not a rhetorical question. It's a question that probably should have been asked to Cedric the Entertainer. I'm asking you. I got you here, though. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe Cedric didn't get asked that question. <laughs> You still a dude's joking and giving an award, and then 10 years later, you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, but I promise you this. What? If he sees me again before he sees you, he'll be talking different when you see him. That's for certain. That's the difference. That's what these comics understand, is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually, the Lord is going to let me and you be in one hallway. A lot of these dudes go. Kevin Hart done went 25 years without ever being in the same building with me at the same time. What, so what, if what, I go in the building, he walk out. You've never seen us in the same building ever in 25 years. Like, it's like that. <laughs> Why? Why? Yes. Because what? I'm really the product. It's not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always in my right mind. I'm always a physical specimen. And when you see me, I'm much, much bigger than you had thought. I have far less play in me than you would like. And I'm relentless. I'm out there. I'm still to this day. I play 11 games of basketball with a 20 year old. The record is 92 and six. 
This is just in the yard, just to the rack, just cause. You work out cat? I mean, no, you work out cat? Uh, not to the gym. You don't work out in the gym? You do push ups, sit ups? I my whole life it was um it was just push ups and sit ups only. I would do like um a hundred push ups a day. Just I thought you were gonna say a thousand. No, no, no. <laughs> because this is literally every day. Right. This is not for the yeah. For the gram, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like uh, literally a hundred a day, and I would do push-ups, and then I tore both my rotator cuffs, and so it was only thanks to golf that I was even able to get my you a golfer now? back. I, I've been a golfer for quite some time. My short game is impeccable. I I, I can't get you, but but two and some change off of the, um, the off the tee, but I'm still I'm 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 still coming in for par guaranteed. Are you playing for the tips? Uh, no, I've, I've found that you don't get anything for that. <laughs> it seems like, it seems very ego maniacal. They go, hey, cat, for free, you can go further back. <laughs> Damn, what? Wait a minute, does it still count the same? Hey, I'm up at the ladies' tee. Don't tell me my pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> On the golf course, I'm she, her, him, them, and they. Whoever, <laughs> whoever at the front tee. We're, I know we're joking, we're having a great conversation, but you did win the award. How did the award <laughs> help your career? It had to help some, Cat. Nope. Nope. God, come on, Cat. I didn't remember it. It happened until you just said it. Set, how can Cedric give you an award that was worth something? Everything Cedric and Ricky Smiley ever been in got canceled for not being funny. Ricky sat here and told you that they cut him out of every movie he did. They always had a reason. Like, <laughs> hey, that's a fact, though, bro. I ain't even think about that, dog. You can't find Ricky Smiley who said shit. No, at least Steve Harvey's still up on goddamn um, Family Feud and shit. But, yeah, it said it got them phased out. You don't see him know last thing. Last time you seen his ass was on Barbershop. And then, um, yeah, I ain't seen Lil Daryl in a minute. <laughs> <sighs> That's why I'm funny, because I'm a happy person. I laugh all day long. I can't even imagine the misery of these bums. <laughs> Just to not be good at what you do, not work hard at what you do, but have to act like you're the best at what you do. It is crazy. It's crazy. But they be touring, they, they, they be doing like 100 shows a year? That's me. <laughs> I don't run into none of them. That's what I'm saying. If you a phase on love fan, you mean you've been a fan of him for 32 years, you still waiting on him to do his first special? You mean to tell me if Steve Harvey, your favorite comedian, you mean you've been waiting for him to do stand up for 15 years now? I mean, Steve got a, got a, a lot of other DL, DL still out there. Yep. None of those irons matter to stand up. Who cares that they wrote a plaque card for you to do Family Feud on? Like, you're. So you're successful because we're surprised you can talk for a living and it's entertaining that you're going to say some funny country things. But not a writer. Right. Not a writer. When you got into stand-up, was mm. crossing over, was doing TV, was doing movie, was that a, was that a part of it? You're like, okay, I'm, gonna do, I, I'm doing stand-up. Okay, next, next, the, the next progression is TV movies. Throughout, throughout the history of stand-up, sir. That's that's the goal for all of us. That's how it goes. That's why when you hear these dudes talking about, oh, I didn't want to be a movie star. You just know it's disingenuous. Like, what are you talking about, right. dude? Yeah, oh, no, no. I just wanted to do a game show. Right. What? <laughs> are you sure? Are you sure? Because I thought you did Mark Curry's show over after he had just done hanging with Mr. Cooper. Hanging with Mr. Cooper, that would have worked. Why would you do all of that man's stuff that he did on his show on yours and then do the dude stand-up when you go on the road? And then you never put Mark Curry on your show or nothing. Like, if you don't say anything, these dudes will run over you. Mm. I don't know if you know how bullies operate. Mm, but if you don't stand up for yourself... Mm. There really is nothing they won't do. Right. So. Do you consider yourself a king of comedy? Where does where does Kevin? No, we they they consider that. Oh, that like like when after Bernie left, them same three guys I'm telling you about the kings. Yeah. Right. Because DL is the greatest. Yeah. There's, there's no DL slander gets tolerated. Mm. Um, but 
They came to me. I was supposed to be the fourth king. I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. So why? Because you shit on Bernie. Mm. And I know the truth. You think I'm going to let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> why? Because the whole time Bernie was here, you was acting like you was funnier than him. The reason you was supposed to go last is because it was your tour. Tell mm. the truth. It was Steve's tour. Not it was going to be called the Kings of Comedy. It was Steve's tour. These are the guys opening for him. Of course, you got to close if it's your tour. That's why it was such a big deal. But you couldn't do it because you can't beat the best. <laughs> and until you humble yourself, you will forever be kinged by the king. <laughs> And because you finally did it, because you had no other choice, mm. and now that he gone, you going to act like, he wanted to be a movie star. You stop it. Uh, you stop it. That man was funnier part. than all of y'all, and y'all thought y'all had one over on him. You thought he was black and ugly, and you were good looking, and he couldn't make it, because you did. And that ain't the way comedy works. The king is the funniest. Period. Every time. <laughs> And that's why no audience member was ever swayed. It didn't matter where Bernie went. You think if Bernie went first, he wasn't the king? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get your ego out of this. Bruh. You let the best be the best. Right? Cat, can't wait, you ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming on, bro. I really appreciate that. Thanks. God damn, that shit was tough. That shit was tough. God damn, Bernie got there, Mac. That's that's my favorite part of the whole shit he said thus far. You mean to tell me it's two out, two more hours and fifteen minutes of this shit? Um, I said fuck you. I ain't doing no goddamn fake ass frauds of comedy, bro. <laughs> if y'all go shit on Bernie like that, when hey man. Hey man, Bernie, Bernie fucking Mac, Bernie fucking Mac, bro. He may, he may be, he may be the go to goddamn stand up, bro. You know what I'm saying? You sitting here talking about some fucking Kevin Hart? Can Kevin Hart, the likes of goddamn Bernie out there, bitch, burning down the goddamn shows of that shit he be talking about, bro? I, mean, I got some, I got some, I got some, I got some ideas. I got some ideas for this one, bro. We may have to got them, you know, do a little bit of comedy on this bitch for a little bit, dog. Put some respect on the motherfuckers that's really in this shit. You know what I mean? But y'all let me know if y'all made this far in the damn um, reaction. What do you want to call this shit, bro? Who's y'all goats of comedy? You know what I mean? Who's y'all's goats? Who's y'all's goats of comedy? You know what I'm talking about? You know, Kevin ain't in it, bro. I forgot to hear. Um, but yeah. Yeah, cat, cat, cat knocked it out the park with this bitch, bro. This shit was fucking ten out of ten, bro. Ten out of motherfucking ten, man. Y'all let me know if if, if it's was, was some other parts of the um of the interview or the uh, or the interview y'all want me to peep, man. But I think this is the meat and potatoes. It got to be. It got to be. It got juicier than this. Um, but anyway, man. Peace.